Hi, and welcome to this presentation called Making Search Soup, where we are going to talk about using Boolean operators. So let's say you want soup. You have an egg. You have a lemon. You do a search for egg and lemon, and you find avgolemno soup. This is a Greek soup, and both egg and lemon are ingredients in it. Now let's say that you have an egg and a lemon, the same egg and lemon, and you're not sure that you want to use both of them in the soup, so you use the word or instead. That would find everything, egg or lemon. You would find egg drop soup, avgolemno soup, lemon orzo soup, and many, many others. So let's say you have an egg, not a lemon. This would help you find things like egg drop soup that has egg in it but not lemon. You can use these terms in any sort of con So here we've put them into the library search, oit.edu slash libraries and I've used the example of vaccines and health risks. Another would be vaccines or inoculation, inoculation being a synonym for vaccine. This example is for vaccines, not children. Now you can combine them into much longer searches that will be more specific. Here we have vaccines or inoculation and cows, not children. You may also notice that some resources have an advanced search that will allow you to do this without having to type the word and or not without having to figure out where to put your parentheses. By the way, this type of searching works in almost every search engine I've seen. Yes, that includes the regular search engines that you find on the internet. <laughs> 